Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Sagittarius. This is for the week of October 18th through the 26th. So we're going to go October 18th through the 26th for Sagittarius. What do we have for Sagittarius for the week ahead? As Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for the week ahead of October 18th? The week of October 18th for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Okay, compliment from an admirer. Clouds, temporary problems. October, this is a big month for you. Dog far away. I don't know if it's going to focus. A distant friend is thinking of you. So October is a very prominent month for you by the looks of things. There are some temporary problems, but you are going to, you have an admirer and you're going to be getting some compliments. So that's good. Somebody's thinking about you. Okay, distant friend, compliments from an admirer. There's somebody that is far away that is thinking about you. This person may be born in October, doesn't have to be. But I feel like this October is means that this is a pivotal time for you. I think it's a time of change, big change. Okay, the season is over. You're about to step into a... a Oh, it feels like it's a new beginning of some sort. So what do we have for Sagittarius for October 18th through the 26th? Ah, I knew it. This is the end of a cycle. This is a new beginning. I knew that it was. This is like stepping out of darkness and into the light. Okay? So I feel like you are about to uh, leave the past behind. Uh, step into your a new you. This is a brand new beginning. You've learned some sort of lesson. Completing a chapter. This is the end. Okay, it's the end of something. Uh, moving towards the future. So this is freedom. Completion of a cycle. Uh, maybe even some public recognition this month. You may win. You may win at something. Uh, you may be... Uh, well, this is a success. It is a success. Something is, is happening. There could be a change in residence as well. You may be moving, moving someplace. Uh, this is a whole new you. This is a wholeness. A major new beginning is upon you. You have successfully completed one project or phase of your life. Okay? Now you're stepping into a whole new era, a whole new world. Right? King of Swords reverse. Now the King of Swords, you may be dealing with a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, but this is, somebody may be forcing something on you. Now this is abuse. There could be some psychological abuse, mental abuse, physical abuse, um, bullying, uh, neglect. Uh, somebody may not be happy. You may have somebody that you are leaving behind. This is somebody that doesn't really support you. This person may have mentally abused you or abused you in some way. This is the person that you are leaving behind. Um, happiness is coming. This is extreme happiness, bliss. If you have been feeling 
well, obviously we have somebody here that has been experiencing some problems, some sort of abuse. It's over. It's over. It is. It's over. There's been an abuse of power here. But that is over. I mean, with the Ten of Cups, fulfillment is coming. Happiness is coming. Things are about to get better for you. They are going to get better. There's some sort of extreme illness here. I feel like we have somebody... There could be some mental illness. Okay? Um, there's regrets, extreme regrets, anxiety, paranoia, sadness. You may not be happy that you are moving into a better place. It may not, ha it may not have happened the way that you wanted it to happen. But I feel like the, the fact that you are moving that you are going to a better place, you're going to see. I think that you're going to be go experiencing a lot of... Uh, uh, you may go through a period of depression. You may go through a period of regrets. You, or this or the person you're dealing with may. Okay? Because this reading can go vice versa. You could be dealing with somebody that... You know, is somebody here, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with, is going to be giving deep thought to their actions. I think that you've been in an extremely abusive situation with somebody. And you may have even been abusing yourself. This is extreme regrets, sadness despair oh my god somebody could end up in a hospital and regretting their actions hangman now hangman could be some sort of punishment that is coming for refusing to compromise refusing to see something from a new perspective now this this punishment could come to you or somebody that you're dealing with the hangman is you must struggle through this. You must see things differently. You, There is a lesson to be learned. I think you're going to be thinking this week about something that has happened. You're going to be really, really thinking about, you know, some sort of abuse. You're going to be thinking a lot this week. Somebody could be put on probation. They could be put on parole or ankle bracelet or uh, whatever is happening. There's a lesson that is to be learned here. Some kind of lesson needs to be learned and you're going to learn it. Okay, you are going to successfully learn a lesson and you're going to be happy in the end. Happiness is coming. But this, you may feel like something isn't fair. Somebody hasn't been treated fairly. There definitely has been an abuse of power here. We have somebody here that um, has been very greedy. They've been um, abusive. They've been very controlling. Um, not treating somebody fairly. There's been some unfair treatment here. I don't know if it's your family Anyhow, six of pentacles reverse. This is not, you may feel like you didn't get what you deserved or somebody didn't get what they deserved. Somebody has been treated unfairly. This isn't fair. This is an injustice. Oh my God. You know, there could be, I feel like we have some serious regrets here. Thinking about what has happened. Oh, jeez. You got these two. There's lack of harmony. There's lack of harmony. There's a lot of fighting. There's a lot of bickering. There's this is a huge battle. We have some. This is a fail. It's a failed. We have somebody here that is failing to succeed at their current in their current situation because they're so stubborn. They're so stubborn. They're so stuck in their ways. They're unwilling to change. They're unwilling to see something from a new perspective. They're unwilling to listen to any advice. 
We have somebody here that is very cocky, very smug. This is losing. This is losing. No staying power. Um, not winning. Not winning. But you are going to win in the end. You are going to win in the end because you're learning. You are. It's almost like you're being forced to learn a lesson. We have somebody here that has been ruthless with that King of Swords reversed. It's somebody that you, uh, maybe it's you, that is ruthless, having regrets for, for abusing power. Somebody is going to have regrets for abusing their power this next week. I feel like we have a setback. A new perspective is needed. I feel like there's some sort of punishment that is coming. You may feel like it's not fair. Somebody's been treated unfairly by an individual that just likes to fight. This is fight, 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 battle, fight. Now, the Six of Wands reverse is somebody that has an overinflated ego. Very prideful, very cocky, very smugged. This is the this is a no answer. No. No. You can't you can't do that. No, it's not just your way. No, you need a new perspective. No. You may be healing hearing those words. This is unwelcome news some sort of unwelcome news is coming somebody may get an ankle bracelet oh punishment that's punishment it doesn't have to be an ankle bracelet it could just be handcuffs somebody could be taken away in handcuffs um this is extremely regretful Eight of Pentacles reverse. This is something not working out. We have somebody that hasn't tried to, hasn't put in much effort. It could have this had, could have this could have something to do with work or a job or or family. This is not putting in much effort, not trying hard enough, not wanting to work on things, not willing to change. We have somebody here that is unwilling to change, but I feel like, I mean, this is a universe card. This is the end of a relationship. It is the end. It is. This is a relationship. This is the end. It's the end of a relationship with somebody that it probably hasn't been working out with. Uh, it's caused a lot of stress. It's caused a lot of uh, fighting. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of one-sidedness. There's been uh, it's been a huge battle. Put it that way. Anyhow, it's the, it's the end. It's the end of this relationship. Oh, look at that! It came it, now. The challenge is letting go. It came out sideways. Somebody has been carrying a heavy burden. They've been overwhelmed. Trying to prove something. And the challenge is letting go. Let go of the need to prove. Let go of whatever doesn't serve you. It's time to let go. Whatever you're holding on to is weighing you down. Balance is waiting. But you have to make a conscious change. This week you are going to be making a conscious change. Completion, completion, completion. You got a major, something is ending in your life this week that has been holding you down, has been holding you back, and, and it's been causing you a lot of animosity. It's like you've been trying to prove something. There's nothing to prove. Seriously. I feel like the biggest challenge that you have this week is letting go, letting go of something. freeing yourself <clears throat> ah re 
reality check. Moon reverse. Somebody's about to get a reality check. Can't hide. Can't hide. Can't run. It's clear. It's clear that you need a new perspective. And some of you are saying, oh, no, 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 it's not me. This reading is for you, the ones that said that. Truths are about to be revealed. I feel like there's been some sort of paranoia or a mental imbalance or uh, self-deception. It's not me. It's not my fault. That's self-deception. And there is self-deception here. There really is. This is about coming out of darkness. Okay, it is. It is about coming out of darkness. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to work on your shadow this week. And accept that you need to change. It's like the serenity prayer. You need to change. Good luck. This is the week. It's not going to be easy. But it is time for a new you. So be prepared to do some hard work that you have been avoiding. You may get into an argument with somebody. You may feel like this isn't fair. It's time for you to face reality. This is this week is I mean the last card is I mean the first card is to me is the most prominent card of the reading and then the last card as well so the first card was the world that is the end it is the end that is a major completion of something significant in your life if it was it whatever some you've been doing it for a long time done that phase of your life is over could be a marriage, could be a relationship. It looks like it's a relationship. Could be a relationship with addictions, okay? Because this is addictions. Could be a relationship with a partner. Whatever it is, you've been doing it for a long time, okay? It's over. It's over. Something is about to be revealed that forces you to change. It may be against your will. You've been holding on to something that has been weighing you down. And it's time to let you let it go. You notice we got two cups here that are that are just sticking out there's another opportunity here that you are not seeing it has been below the surface but because you have refused to let go of something that you are hanging on to you are missing an opportunity you are definitely missing an opportunity it is time for you to accept Reality. This week. I feel like there's going to be a very intense situation. That. Forces you to. Uh, Accept. It forces you to accept that you have to let go. 
good luck.